You know, I've heard a lot of weird things about this movie. I've never actually seen this before. It's another one of the DreamWorks animated films, so I'm surprised I haven't. But today we're gonna to be checking out the B movie. All I really know is it's animated, got some good stellar cast, got Jerry Seinfeld as the lead character. It's about bees. And that's about it. I know this was on one of my favorite YouTube channels called Legal Eagle. I'm not sure why he was checking it out, but I'm very interested to see what this could possibly be. Is it like a Bugs Life movie? Is it like ants? Is it like, I, I really don't know. I'm interested, I'm curious, hope you guys are too. But before we get into it, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Follow me at the two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. What is your favorite DreamWorks animated original film? Also, go check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash movies in depth if you wanna see the full reaction to this movie and to all other future movies and TV shows covered on this channel. You can go check it out over there. Let's just get right into this. I swear, DreamWorks never stops. This is always so creative. <laughs> Second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Oh my God, the antennas literally act as a phone call. Like, I mean, I know it does in real life, but that's just hilarious that they're doing it like that. He just, what is happening? <laughs> he literally just shaved And a perfect report card, all bees. Barry. All uh, bees. How many puns are in this movie? Wave to us, we'll be in row 118,000. Stop flying in the house. So many thoughts, so many. Correct me if I'm wrong, but why wouldn't he just fly to wherever he's going? Three days of grade school, three days of high school. Those were so awkward. Three days of college. He had all that happen in the span of nine days. What's the lifespan of a bee? Everybody knows you sting someone, you die. You don't waste it on a squirrel. <laughs> He just really wanted those nuts. Boy, quite a bit of pump under the circumstances. Oh my God. He literally just made a pun about pomp and circumstance. The number one music played at all graduations. I can't. Graduating class of 915. And that concludes our graduation ceremonies. Oh, why couldn't my graduation ceremony have been like this? Are we gonna pick our job today? Whoa, heads up, here we go. They're just efficient about everything. Get them right into the workforce, get them going. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. We know you've worked your whole life to be able to work your whole life. What? <laughs> oh, not the spray. Says, I'm still here, I got it. You'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. <laughs> Welcome to your ball and chain. The same job for the rest of your life? What's the difference? I need to know what their lifespan is. That gives a lot more context. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. So that's what this movie is. He's gonna be the one bee that rebels against this system. Yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well around here? Give me one example. Look around you. They know what it's like to go outside the hive. Yeah, but some of them don't come back. Well, they don't come back because they get too focused in on squirrels. <laughs> oh, they? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. I know we need to address that, but I really have zero idea how. We're going 0900 at J-Gate. Whoa, are you B enough? Sounds like a buzz-tastic idea. Well, there's a lot of choices. But you only get one. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Oh, I just now got that bad idea for a guy with a stinger. Balloons, stinger, pop. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antenna. Shave your antennas? Can you actually do that? Wouldn't that like be ex like shaving your ears? Well, whenever a bee dies, that's an opening. See that? He's dead, dead, another dead one. They took realism with this to a whole new level and add it in comedy. <laughs> what happened to you? I, I can't get over the fact that they just accept phone calls with their antennas. I know it's how they communicate, but still, it's funny. It's okay, Lou, we're gonna take them up. Son, here, here, uh, just initial that. I wonder if that's that bee's exact job. It's like, I'm here only to get newbies who are trying to make it into this group to sign a waiver. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Same here. No. They have people start their wings for them. <laughs> God bless B America. I can't believe I'm out. Oh, are they in New York City? Oh, that's a big plus in my books. I love New York. Let's go, baby. 
Not gonna lie, this would make a great theme park ride. Maybe a dash over there, pinch on that one. See that? Here's what you didn't know, kids. Bees are actually the world's flower girl. You think that anyone around there might be a little concerned? There's a flock of bees heading right for that frisbee! These flowers seems to be on the move. Uh, it's not a flower, sweetie pie. That's, uh, your death. Very close. Oh my good god. Oh, no! Mama's little boy. I would be screaming a little bit louder if you're about to be smushed by a tennis ball. Oh, no! No! Oh. How was this not turned into a theme park ride? Because I believe you're about to eat it! Oh my god, is that Joe Swanson from Family Guy? <laughs> there is no fear in this dojo! Joe, we, we don't even know what a dojo is. He's been shot through a vent, put through a razor blade, exploded, and hit by a tennis ball. How is he not dead? Ah! No, Scooby, don't do it! <laughs> if you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze! It's not a Tyrannosaurus bee. I gotta get home. Whoa. What happens with rain and bees? We go down! Uh, uh, I check out my of course, they come right back to his apartment. <laughs> Maybe this time. This time, this time, this time, this time. Accurate. Can't really oh, there's the sun. Yeah. Maybe that's a way out. Oh, it's accurate. It's so accurate. Bees! Ah! These are winter boots. Uh, you know, there's paper, there's pillows, but no, go for the boot. She's smiling a little too big at him. Just a little. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no, yes, no, definitely not. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. You're a bee. Yeah, Yeah. I am a bee, and uh... Maybe this whole movie was just one of Jerry Seinfeld's stand-up routines going a little bit too long. Oh! Oh, that was a little weird. You're saying it's weird? Do you realize what movie you're in? Coffee? Well... Uh, I don't want to put you out unless you... Do bees drink coffee? Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Uh-huh. Guaranteed Seinfeld said, I need at least one stand-up routine in this movie or else I'm not doing it. A uh, bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we do. It's a bee routine. Imagine if he just fell off the building right there. <laughs> you know I'm not attracted to the spiders? I know that everyone else is like the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. Mm, spiders are the worst thing on this planet. Human. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bee law. How many bee laws do they have? Just the one? Who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. The heart that's yearning for a human to be with a bee? I'm not a discriminating type, but boy. <laughs> you know what your problem is? They have a honey pool. I kind of want to go in that. I gotta start thinking, bee. What was that face? Oh my god. <laughs> What am I watching? You got me watching. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's okay. You just murdered one of my long lost cousins. It's fine. Oh, honey, honey. I just realized that this song is literally singing about honey. He doesn't respond when you yell at him. Then why are you yelling at me? Because you don't listen. Just because he doesn't respond while you're yelling doesn't mean you won't respond to my yelling. A girl? I just hope she's beeish. How often do they intermingle? Seems like a big issue. We really try not to stink. It's usually fatal for us. Usually fatal? That's gonna come back by the end of the movie. Guarantee it. Get out of here, you creep! Now how do you like it? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. It's not stealing. It's more like mass murder in the bee world. Oh my god. <laughs> Too late. It's ours now. Is he? He's using his stinger to. Do <laughs> Even though the movie's weird, these sequences are really impressive. Like a bee in a giant world, like seeing what that would be like from its perspective. Hey man, they will wipe anything that moves. Is that Chris Rock? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. So far we've had a realistic hive of what happens during their lives. And then he falls in love with a human and tries to get with said human. And now he's on his way to figure out where honeys come from. What's happening? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. I'm sure all beekeepers are talking exactly like that. 
This video brought to you by Movies in Depth. First off, I want to thank you all so much for letting me come back today to be a part of this video and to tell you about today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by my Patreon. You don't need to tell them about it at the beginning, middle, and end of your video. Because they need to know that you can get full uncut reactions to exclusive content. Are you seriously doing this again? <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about your stupid Patreon. <laughs> One second. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So sorry about that, just had to take out the trash for just one second. But I just wanted to say again, if you want to see full uncut reactions to all the television shows, movies covered on this channel, and also exclusive Patreon content that covers future TV shows and movie reactions only being held on patreon.com slash movies in depth, go check it out over there. And let's just get right back into the video. No, there's hundreds of them. I did not know we were going to get this much drama in this movie as well. <laughs> Loki could turn this into a horror flick at this point. Stolen on a massive scale. I just love that the, all the beekeepers are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this, honey. Haha, <laughs> these stupid bees. Because he's been talking to humans. He has a human girlfriend. Oh. Way to sell him out, best friend, so called. There's only one place you can sting the humans, one place where it really matters. In their wallets. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Bob Bumble. <laughs> Loki, a great name. He's saying he intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey. Told you, right in the wallet. Tomorrow night on B. B. Larry King. <laughs> You know they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. That's yeah, a very common misconception. With suspenders and different colored dots behind him. Let's not get too meta here, Jerry. I'm helping him sue the human race. What? His human friend is actually helping him to sue the entire human race. Dear God. Why is Yogurt Night so difficult? Why are you getting so upset about Yogurt Night? <laughs> Alibi. Ha ha ha. Imagine he's having tea with honey. Any of you boys work on this. What did I just say? <laughs> the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Bumbleton? Five major food companies collectively. A privilege. Is that John Goodman? Oh my God. To benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. Is he a lawyer or some sort of preacher? Can picture capture Hollywood wizardry. They could be using laser beams. Yep, definitely a preacher. In a long tube with a bunch of demons. You'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Never have I ever expected to come into this movie to see a bee trying to sue the entire human race for the misuse of honey. Who thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey? Well, they're very lovable creatures. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, we have the bear exhibition of this exhibit. Now let's see the beekeeper hold up to this. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Or should I say, Gordon M. Sumner? Not his real name, you idiot! He had a stage name? No, I was just late. I uh, tried to call, but the battery. It's almost as if it's been debuzzed. Oh, that was lucky. I'll bring you into my home and you'll beify my family. You don't even think to call me Godfather. You think I don't see what you're doing? I think Ken's about to attempt to be murder. <laughs> what is happening? Little mind games. What's that? Oh no, it's the Paris Vogue. That's a 50 piece. Oh. 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 Why does it keep landing on his head? Lethal? I need that shower setting. What are you doing? You know what? I'm just trying to commit murder. The nicest bee I've met in a long time. How many bees have you met? Are there other bugs in your- Yeah, I'm gonna go with him on this one. <laughs> we have a bee fan club. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. He's gonna try to get stung. Ah, uh, what a turd muffin. This isn't about her little bed bug. Bed bug? What am I watching? <laughs> Y'all late your cousins? Objection. Don't go for the ass. It's the only thing they know. It's their way. I'm not gonna lie. That was the smart thing to do if you were in his place. But what a turd. Poison from my healing buckets. I also can't lie, that man is thick. <laughs> I'd be better off dead. 
Look at me. Oh my god. <laughs> what was it like to sting someone? Ecstasy. Hmm. All right. He's like, oh, well, that might be something that I might want to try out. They have any more of those swords downstairs? You get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. I know you're in a hospital bed right now for like almost dying, but get back to the court gaze. How much longer are we going to- You know what? It's accurate though. This is uh, it fitting for someone as big of a baby as he is. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. Okay, that was smart. That was smart. This couldn't hurt a fly, little old bee. I may have taken out like a few of the bees. Vanessa, we won! I knew you could do it. High five! What if she just killed him right there? <laughs> this is an unholy perversion of the balance of- 100% a preacher. You'll regret this. Was that their setup for a sequel? Wait for my signal. Oh God, not Winnie the Pooh! What are you doing? <laughs> Human tea time snack garnishments. That's it, Grant. You're going downtown. Why do I feel like this is gonna turn into a Wally -E storyline? 100% is what's happening. Cause all the planets can't survive without pollination. Help one thing, you heard another. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? This has been such a trip. We've had so many different storylines come together for this. I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. What did I just hear? I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. We've already established this. All right, go on. Security will be tight. Security's tight on these flowers, huh? How about the princess and the bee? Yeah. I could be the princess and you. Yeah. It really should be princess and the bee. Ah, bee! Oh, no, 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 don't freak out. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the real reason that they have two pilots in a plane. <laughs> Not the toupee. Barry, what did you do? No, one's bald, one's in a boat, and they're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? I was about to say, that sounds like the start to a really bad joke. <laughs> Not good. Is there anyone on board who has flight experience? Is that Jerry Seinfeld? Is Seinfeld talking to Seinfeld? How hard could it be? How hard could it be? Ah! But let me tell you something about a small job. If you do it really well, it makes a big difference. That sounds like the slogan to all bees. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. I'm just talking loudly. Panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. <laughs> it's not a decision. It's a lifestyle. They're trying to support the plane. Oh my God. You snap out of it. <gasps> Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. Come on. I was kind of enjoying that. <laughs> this is not the right time for a calisthenics class. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Vanessa, aim for the flower. Yeah, kill all the bees below. Drop it in, woman. Good job, everybody. Are we gonna be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? That was so specific. <laughs> Little darling, it feels like this has been so weird, but this is actually pretty cute. Since it's been here. Cause that's how plants work, right? <laughs> Would you like some honey with that? Sure. It is be approved. <laughs> be approved, honey. <laughs> Cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Uh -huh. Oh God, the next movie's gonna be cows, isn't it? He's a lawyer too? I was already a blood sucking parasite. All I needed was a Oh cake. my God. <laughs> That bee is living my life! I need a sequel just about him. <laughs> all right, so that was DreamWorks' B movie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, that movie was just very strange. There's a lot of weird commentary. It's interesting and it's got some good animation, some funny jokes, some not. But overall, it's just weird. I don't know. I couldn't get past the whole, they were flirting with each other as a bee and a human. The court case was pretty funny, but I don't know. It was just kind of strange for me. Not my favorite, but teach your own. I still think it's a pretty decent movie. If you guys want to go check it out, it's still a pretty fun time. But if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. It really does help out the channel so, so much. Follow me at the two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. What's your favorite moment from the B movie? Also go check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash movies in depth for full uncut reactions to this movie and to all other future TV and 
movie reactions done and covered on this channel for and also additionally exclusive patreon content including tv shows and movies covered exclusively on patreon live q a's polls you name it it's probably over there at patreon.com movies in depth and besides all of that 